Hello, welcome to Power Zone. Today, I'd just like to spotlight the latest test that we've done here in the test facility. Our customer on this one was a refinery in Eastern Canada, and they were looking to get up and running quickly with a very difficult um, application. They were wanting to pump hot animal tallow at over 3,000 PSI and 800 gallons a minute. And that was a tough application, but we did a full engineering review on this package and it matched it almost perfectly, matched the application. And then because it's from our unused surplus stock, it was able to answer the needs very quickly. This pump is actually almost ready to ship now and we're only five weeks from the date that we received the PO from this customer. This customer made this purchase though based on a successful performance test. The pump you see here is a, is a low serve 4WIK API 610 BB5 centrifugal pump. And the motor is a new Siemens 3500 horsepower 4160 volt motor turning 3600 RPM. We have here a pressure lubrication system that supplies pressurized oil to the four main bearings on the motor and the pump. This lubrication system it has filtration, has a cooler with a fan, and it has a lot of pressure gauges, temperature gauges, and flow sight glasses that we can monitor as we're testing. We can monitor the state of that lubrication system. There's also a seal support system for the mechanical seals. This is a Plan 23 system that will be running out in the field. But during the test, we interrupted that system and we're just doing a simple external freshwater flush to the seals to keep them cool during the test. As we're running this test, our operators are monitoring temperatures, pressures, flows. We're, we're monitoring the vibration and just the overall health of the package. All these readings are also being monitored automatically by our PLC system. Everything is being transmitted to the central system that's logging this data. So after we pull the package into the test facility, we hook up the suction to the discharge of our charge pump so that the main pump can be fed to the water. And the discharge of the main pump is routed back to the holding tank. Since this is a test environment, we actually have to create quite a restriction for the pump to pump against. We do this with a choke valve system and we have a lot of different kinds of choke valve systems in our toolbox. We've also constructed a half inch plate that goes between the choke valves and the operator handles. We consider the choke valve a red zone. There's a lot of energy there. And we like to keep the operator out of that. All that energy being forced through the choke valves by the pump is converted into heat energy that's in the, that, that ends up heating up the test water. On this test, we're required to run a customer witness function test for four hours continuously. And during that time, the water would become extremely hot. It would cause possible damage to the equipment and it would be a safety hazard. To cool the water, we have a separate loop taking water out of our tanks and through a large cooler just outside our test facility. To power the test, we have a big diesel generator set sending power to a medium voltage VFD. And that in turn powers the motor and controls the speed of our test. Our team has been trained extensively in the operation and maintenance of all this equipment. And we have accomplished countless tests right here in this facility. This test is just another great success. We tested at up to 1100 gallons per minute and 3700 PSI. It was safe, it was on target, and it was a lot of fun.